Let's bring in Jason Furtado. He's associate professor of meteorology at the University of Oklahoma. Jason, your expertise includes blizzards, climate change, large scale climate dynamics. Tell us why we are all experiencing this type of weather across the country and what could be the coldest Christmas in decades, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, this has really been set up uh, for a couple of weeks. We had two big areas of high pressure, one from Greenland that came back into Canada, and another one that formed actually uh, just north of Siberia. And what it, that did essentially was it really put on a squeeze play and set up kind of a perfect trajectory from Siberia right across the Arctic Ocean into North America and just allowed all that cold air from Siberia to just come pummeling down and cross into, you know, the lower 48. And as we've seen over the last just couple of days, just tremendous temperature drops and tremendous below zero temperatures, along with the winds, you know, the wind chills dropping to as low as even minus 70 in parts of Montana, which is really incredible uh, for any time of year, but especially for for the for the Christmas season. Well, Madison, Wisconsin, uh, where all my Irish relatives are, by the way, and parts of the Plains and Midwest are seeing, you know, what's called a bomb cyclone uh, type of a blizzard. Tell us more about that and how dangerous that can be. I've been talking to them on a regular basis. They are not even leaving the house. <laughs> sure. So a bomb cyclone really is a term that we use for a, a rapidly intensifying storm. And so the technical definition would be you'd have to have a drop in pressure of 24 millibars over 24 hours. And so really what we're seeing is we have this very dynamic storm that's intensified rapidly because it has this cold air it's working with, with warm air to the east and south of it, allowing sort of that energy and juice to really deepen that cyclone. And really the key here and, and, and what, and what what we really want to emphasize is really not only with the snow, but it's the wind and the wind chills. And this is where, um, you know, conditions with this bomb cyclone or this very intense storm, as the winds pick up and the temperatures drop, that's when we're going to start seeing wind chills, you know, negative 10, 20, 30, even approaching even minus 50 in parts of the Dakotas. This is These are life-threatening wind chills if, if you're outside and exposed to them. Well, in terms of the deep freeze that we're seeing across the country, like in Denver, Colorado, which just saw its coldest day since 1983, and even Orlando, where it's going to be, what, a low of 24 degrees on Christmas Eve, how much of this can be attributed to climate change, as we've been talking a lot about that this year? Well, let's just be clear. So climate change is actually over the long term is actually allowing our winters overall to get warmer with time. So I think that's very important to understand is that with time, our winters get warmer. Now, on top of that, we can have what we call weather. Think of weather as like your mood today versus climate being your personality. So even even though in the long term we have a certain trend within there you can still have little you know blips like this of these of these big cold air outbreaks so while you know this doesn't necessarily disprove or, or connect directly to climate change what i will say is that this is just a, a weather phenomenon that we can have even though overall like i said our winters are getting um a lot a lot warmer with with time but we can still get these extremes and that's important to note is that extreme weather is something that we really have to watch when we talk about uh, things like uh, climate change jason Furtado, thank you so much for your expertise appreciate it thank you hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.